All right, I'm going to show you how to use this cool, fun online tool that I got here, that I found, um, to do this week's assignment. Um, I want you to see the instructions for exactly what I want you to do with it. This video is just to show you how to use it. Okay, so first step is you got to get to it. So you go in your web browser and you go to wordart.com up there at the top. Pretty simple, wordart.com. I'm going to go pretty fast through this, um, so pause, back up the video for each step, okay? Once you're here, you want to hit this green button that says Create Now. Click. It'll open up a new tab like this. Um, I'm going to just go to one that I already made so that uh, it has my words and stuff input already, but it'll take a second to load, and it'll bring this up, and you'll be on the screen that looks exactly like this. Um, first step, you want to go and get rid of all these words that are there already. So just click them and hit remove, okay? So I've got mine up here that I've already messed with, starting off with words. So you want to come in and add a bunch of words, and over here, you just type in here, hit add, and then you can just type in something like go crazy or whatever, you know? Just add a bunch of words to that. Um, once you have all the words that you want to use, I mean, actually, I'm going to back up. You need to get a picture first, so, because your words are going to be based on your picture, right? Um, so we want to come down here to shapes. If you look in here, they've got a ton of different shapes, but for this assignment, I want you to find your own shape because it's be more interesting if you find something that's, like, specifically that you want to use, okay? So we're going to hit this add image button. And it's going to bring up this little box, right? So now we got to go find an image. So come to Google, just type in some kind of logo or something that you think is cool. Uh, the nice thing about this word art is it'll actually use anything. Like you can just put a picture of yourself in there, and it'll try its best to to make a word art version of it. Um, and if you want to mess with that, go for it. If you want to mess with photographs, I don't care. But uh, you're going to get the best result from something clean and crisp, like like a logo like this that's or or if you type in like if you want to do a dragon and you type in dragon and it gets a painting of dragon maybe not so good but if you type in like dragon clip art or better yet colorful dragon clip art um then you'll get something you could probably work with so once you have your logo right click on it and say open image in new tab what that's going to do is it's going to just bring up just the image in a in a tab on its own so you want to highlight the website of that tab and hit Control C, or right click and hit Copy on the on the address, and then go to your Word Art theme and paste Control V, or we'll click and right click and paste that in here, and then you're going to hit Load. It'll bring up a thing that you can mess with some settings if you want to do that and go for it. It'll just messes with the borders and stuff, but uh, hit OK once it's loaded in. And so then, like I said, you go put your words in that have to do with the picture that you chose. For your words, I want you to choose different fonts, um, at least like five different fonts. You, you don't have to do a different font for every single word, but there's tons of cool fonts. So you find one that you like, so you feel like, I like Bubblegum Sands. You go back to words and say, I'm going to make this word crazy be Bubblegum Sands. And then you just do that for each of the types of fonts you want to use, okay? There's a bunch of other things that you can mess with in here, and I want you to mess with all of them, okay? So you got your shape, you got your words, you chose some fonts. You can go to layouts. You can have the words all be vertical, horizontal, dancing, positive, negative, you know, just pick one. You know, I don't know what that custom does, but you can mess around in there. You can have it. lots of words, less words. So mess with that. Down here in style, you can choose to have it be the shape color, which I would say if you have lots of cool colors in your, your shape, go with shape color. But if you chose just an all black logo, maybe go to custom. And then you can come in and, and start picking some colors and see what it's done there. It's it's changed all the colors. You can also change the colors of individual words by coming in here and picking, like I want all of the aggro to be red or whatever. So, um, but that's how you do it. Once you're done, you just hit this visualize button and it'll take a second to load. Um, like I said, see the instructions for what I want you to do. I want you to make two, one that's about you, words about you and something you like, and one that you just think is cool and words about that thing.